the most strongly worded warning in the shop manual, as far as I can tell, is uh, not to allow the rear suspension to hang like this with the shocks disconnected. And the reason for that is because the shocks are the only two fixed points on the on the sides that are firmly attached and if you disconnect those you're left with only this ball joint holding up the rear axle the springs are only in there because the axle can't drop any farther than it already has and then it would pivot around this on both sides and then you could have a out of control axle rising and falling on both sides and causing causing the springs to go flying or just total instability so I think it's worded something like under no circumstances shall you ever and this was new for 58 because in 57 there were leaf springs which were mounted in front and in the back so without the shocks there you still had a stable system but i replaced these springs and to replace them of course i supported the axle and lowered lowered took this bolt out and lowered it enough slowly and gently to get the springs out and put the new ones in so the tops of the shocks are bolted to the frame and the bottoms hold the axle and then you have the the ball joint and this control yoke pivots on two bushings to allow the axle to move up and down in a controlled manner this is the exact wording. Caution, under no circumstances should the rear end of the car ever be raised in such a way that the rear suspension is in rebound position with shock absorbers disconnected. 